on the roof. Well, most of my blogs entertain the theory of blowing stuff up is funny or really only technical nature of any blog I ever usually do would be if it involved the technical manipulation of ignition systems for explosives or homebrew rocketry or you know menacing sort of technologies what we're going to do today is uh, a pretty massive PC upgrade and uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a computer building blog a CBB is that right yeah and uh, you know follow along might be kind of fun to watch a PC go from an empty box of nuts and bolts to a uh, high end water cooled well liquid cooled I don't want to say water cool uh, high end gaming system um, so we're going to do a Pentium 4 dual core processor just because of the expense it was very cheap right now I would have gone quad core but I'm waiting on the next line to come out um, we're going to end up with 4 gigs of RAM that's DDR2 the 1000 megahertz stuff uh, and the fastest current video card that I'm aware of I'm not going to say the fastest in the world video card because there's a few flavors of this, but it's the GeForce 8800 GTX, and uh, this is the fastest video card I'm willing to spend the money on, at least. Um, and as you can see, it does have some liquid cooling capabilities on the side there with the heat pipes and that sort of thing. Um, just to give you a reference on this card's ridiculousness, this is my hand. And my hand is a large hand, ladies, paying attention. My hand is large. I also have a size 13 foot for reference. If you'll note, video card next to my foot. Ladies, I have a very large shoe size. Ladies. 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 Anywho, um, so yeah, kick ass card. Uh, good components, Intel desktop board, uh, 975 chipset, I'm thinking until 975 yeah that's the faster thousand megahertz motherboard um, on the front side bus we're gonna do a couple of uh, 500 gigabyte serial ATA drives uh, SATA I'm thinking in the uh, terabit or maybe two terabit range maybe we'll go four five hundreds and maybe do a raid a performance raid striping um, I went ahead and opted for the old uh, Windows Vista Ultimate um, I got an upgrade hack that I can use, so I was able to get it pretty cheaply with an OEM pricing when you buy hardware. So we have a nice MOBO, good decent processor with a factory heat sink, so I'm just too lazy to wire up anything more right now. Um, we're going to go for some uh, overclocked RAM with uh, heat spreaders on it, up to 4 gigabytes. A GeForce 8800 GTX, I'm sorry, I'm an ATI guy. I, I, I gave up on uh, NVIDIA many years ago when they had major, major driver issues and major hardware issues, in my opinion at least, and many systems I'd put in were giving me lots of problems, but apparently now the only DirectX 10 version graphics card and the next level of graphics card is the 8800 GTX, so I'm going to go ahead and go for it, and we'll see how it runs. Um, so. Uh, just a standard Antec case with a 650 watt uh, true power supply. I want to go ahead and get a little extra amperage in there for all the um, hard drives and whatnot. So that's our base system. Pretty simple. Windows Vista Ultimate. I'm only doing 32 bits. I'm not doing all the 64 bit stuff right now. Um, it should be a good build and I'll keep you uh, in tune. Chapter 1. The crap. Okay, we've experienced our first casualty of this event. Upon removing a couple of little swaggy little stickers from the side of this retarded video card, I was injured. I think I'm going to be okay, but I'll let you judge. Oh, it's pretty serious. I'm going to go have a good cry now. Okay, <laughs> this really this little venture started out really. We're gonna chronicle this whole freaking event up to the point of two in the morning tonight when I'm drinking beer because I'm pissed off that the stupid ass drivers aren't working the way they're supposed to. Anyway, not gonna get emotional about this, but you know what? When I'm building P 
PCs, especially performance-based PCs with silver heat compound and liquid cooling systems. You know, I'm talking bleeding edge kind of PCs, you know, not bullshit gateway or Dell little office computers. I need food. I need certain types of food, and I like White Castle. And lo and behold, open up the fridge full of carby freaking treats from Sam's and Costco and all the good stuff, you know, Jägermeister, Hot Pockets, Friday's this, Friday's that, ice cream, chicken wings, cattle here. Oh, thank God, White Castle. Thank you, God, White Castle. Yes, that's what I need, White Castle. I will eat White Castle. Well, shit, no. Some dickhole of the universe, I mean a real fuckstick, I didn't think so. Why? Because there are none and some dick cheese put it back in the freezer. Ah. More eating. More eating. I swear when I'm building a computer it's like I'm stoned or something. Take these little pizza rolls here, right? And check out the hardcore nature of this bacon pan. I've been using it for a week. Um little secret recipe here. Take some cayenne pepper, sprinkle it on top of them, then all the oily shit that bubbles up melds with the hot and makes them into like fiery death sacks of pleasure. 425 for 15 minutes. Okay, we are dry fitting the motherboard now. Suck it. 775 or LGA 775 I believe they call these now. Um, Usually what I'll do is I'll, I'll take a case like this, I'll clear it all out, and I'll, you know, dry fit it, make sure the little imprints all fit and all makes out, make sure you get all your screws in there, because a lot of uh, boards like this will actually use screws like this for part of their, uh, you know, grounding system, so it's important a lot of times to make sure you get all your screws in there, plus it makes the board a little more sturdy for... Uh, different devices you're going to be putting on there and whatnot, especially when you've got a video card that's as big as a bread box that's going to attach to this thing and kind of hang on to the side of it like a lizard holding on to the side of a building. You want it to be stable and glued in good, so that's where we're at, dry fit stage. We'll lay it in there a second, throw some screws on it and get close to an initial power up and see if the BIOS will sequence for us. Uh, of course, we'll be dropping these beauties in with the... Uh, super clean uh, baking pan that uh, belongs with it so we'll see how the stomach virus goes later it's been real 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 standoffs to keep the motherboard isolated from the back of the case which is metal which conducts electricity which causes a short so you want to stand it off a quarter of an inch or so and let all your components little legs dangle safely. Oh, criminy. I'd like to introduce our little friend here. He thinks they're being fed anytime there's food around. My fault, I guess. I've kind of enabled this behavior over the years. Every time I cook something, she comes down here grumping about something. It's got such a, such a beautiful, poetic, song like you know relaxing meow though I'll give her that she will uh, make a lovely meow she kind of stalks me a little here and there how are we doing in here oh yeah that hellish crap's almost done so uh things are moving along cats molesting me standoffs are installed dry fits complete um, we'll be ready to uh, proceed with a uh, dropping the board in and screwing it down to the back of the case here very shortly.